Imagination is a beautiful thing. It's the source of our big ideas, and it makes us want to bring them to life. Introducing Cell Robot, a modular robot built to inspire the mind. It uses cells as components that allow you to build and expand your robot into many forms. The cells are powered by a heart, a lithium ion battery that provides power to the cell as soon as it's connected, giving life to your robot. Choose from the many dozens of pre-designed robots from the shape library. Follow the helpful tutorials to walk you through construction. Easily combine cells together through a twist and lock motion. Then control your cell robot from the app. Additional accessories allow you to expand your ideas further by adding wheels, a mount, and even a camera. And you don't just need to stick to the instructions. In custom mode, you can build anything you can imagine. Program movements for each individual cell using custom mode in the app. Then, watch it go. What you make is up to you. Cell Robot is an extension of your imagination, a platform for combining building with creativity. Share your imagined inventions and inspire your friends. What will you build? Cell Robot. This is a cell unit. It can rotate at different speeds, in different directions. It can rotate to a specific position or rotate continuously. It's very simple. But when you combine many cells together to form different configurations, it can be hundreds of robots in one. Hi, I'm Jay. We started Cell Robot to make robots blend seamlessly into our daily life. We are trying to create a friendly access for everyone to get their hands on robots without coding, mechanics, or electronics experience. People can easily start to build and control the cell robot. It's definitely more than a toy. This thing has real power. Cell Robot is my own personal robot assistant. Setting up different configurations, it just feels like there are so many different uses. It can be a security monitor to help me watch my house when I'm out. It can be a robot friend. And I guess it can even entertain my pet. It helps me to take care of my dog when I'm traveling. There are so many different interesting ways I can integrate the robot into my daily life. The community in the app is pretty cool too. I can share what I've made myself and also be inspired by the brilliant ideas of others. I have a ton of different toys, but the Cell Robot is my absolute favorite. There are over 50 different shapes in the app library. Stand up, Cell Robot. The Cell Robot is a great hands-free helper. Hi, there you are. You want to go to the store with me today? Sometimes it's hard to find something that's fun for everyone in my family. We have different ages and interests. But the Cell Robot works for everyone. Building something, solving problems, or helping us with our day-to-day -day tasks. Plus, we actually have so much fun. And that's what's really the most important. Since when was coding this cool? Introducing the latest advancement in the field of fun. Meet CodyBot, designed by MakeBlock. This smart robot teaches kids the basics in computer programming using a simple graphic programming language similar to MIT's Scratch. You can give the robot a series of commands, then immediately see the magic happen. This provides a safe and easy introduction to the language and mindset of computer programmers. In free play mode, you can just start playing. Every spin, grin, dance, and silly voice coding is fun. naturally teaches coding skills. You can customize CodyBot in so many ways, or pair two CodyBots together for battle mode. May the best CodyBot win. CodyBot is an open platform to learn, explore, and discover. Equip your child with the fundamentals they need to thrive in the age of robotics with CodyBot. Let's program the fun. In the DIY world, there are dozens of kinds of drawbot. This one is a Scara robot. It could draw the pixel on a surface. This one could make an Easter egg. This one is like a car. This one could draw a picture on the wall. What we do here is to put them together like a transformer. This is M Drawbot, a 4 in 1 Drawbot. In 2012, we brought you the MakeBlock, the next generation of construction platforms. 
It helps you build your own robot quickly. Now our team has grown from 5 to 50. We're ready to take on something bigger. MDrawBot is based on MakeBlock. It contains structures, motors, pen lift mechanisms, and electronics. Form 1 is M Spider. It's a high precision robot on a vertical surface, and typically its painting range is huge. The two step motors are used to control the position of the spider. Form 2 is M Scara. Oh, you have seen that before? M Scara could draw wonderful painting on the paper, and if you put a laser diode instead of a pen, it could even become a laser engraver. The third one is M Eggbot which could help you make your own Easter egg. Pretty, uh-huh. And the last one is M-Car, the infinite drawbot on the ground. The control part of M-Drawbot is based on Arduino, a software that is open source. You could use their own Arduino board as a controller, or you can use MakeBlock Orion, which is an updated version of Arduino Uno. Using the RJ25 cable, connecting is a cinch, convenient, and easy. As for the software, the operation is simple. All you need is three steps. Pick the form you want, connect the serial port, and upload the firmware. Then open an SVG file, make some adjustments. At last, click the start button. This is MDrawBot, a wonderful DIY robot. It's a drawbot more than a drawbot. You can use it to do anything you imagine. Now we bring it to you. Here is the question. What are you going to draw? We're building the first smartphone robot for everyone. By combining your smartphone with a robotic base, we can build robots that do awesome things for a fraction of the cost. Romo's pretty amazing. He smiles at you, he's happy to see you. It seems like it has a personality of its own. Using Romo is really easy. You simply download our app, plug your phone into the robotic base, and watch him come to life. You can then control him from any iDevice or your Mac. He's a pet, a toy, a robotic avatar, a powerful educational tool, and a blank slate for advanced robotic programming. He's a robot that's fun, easy to use. You can't help falling in love with him. He's so pretty. Look at this little face. Look. Look at that face. He's a cute, friendly, cuddly bot. He's pretty emotional. Why are you mad? I'll take care of it. Don't worry. All right, hang on. Personal robots are one of the great unfulfilled promises of science fiction, because today they're either plastic toys or million dollar tech show pieces. That's why at Remotive we're trying to create the world's first affordable personal robots. We launched our first Kickstarter in October last year. Your pledges from our original Kickstarter helped us create this company. Since then, we've built an amazing team of nerds and a powerful new robot. While we were proud of our first robots, this next generation Romo is 10 times better. New circuit board, new software, new hardware. He's faster, more durable, and works great with your iPhone and iPod Touch. He has a new mechanism that gives him 60 degrees of tilt, and we think you'll love his all-new design. You can use any iOS device, including the new iPhone 5, to control Romo. But use your previous generation iPhone or iPod Touch to be his brain. Your support on Kickstarter will help us build advanced new software, which you'll be able to download for free on the App Store. Plus, you get a robot. We're working on a ton of really cool features, like autonomous navigation so that Romo can get around the house by himself without bumping into things, face recognition so that Romo can have a different relationship with each person in the house, and graphical programming so that people with no technical background can create their own custom behaviors and personalities for the robot and share them with their friends. And that's stuff that nobody has put into like a $150 robot. Even cooler, we're building an API around each of those functionalities so that any developer out there can create their own custom apps and publish them to all of our users. My name is Laurent Schnauer. I'm co-founder of Fly. 
I'm really passionate about new technologies and I naturally fell in love with drones when I first met them a few years ago. I'm convinced that in the future we'll have flying robots around us helping us in our daily lives. But before that, we must overcome a few challenges, in particular with respect to safety and usability. So what we did at Fly is to go back to the drawing board and invent the flying robot of the future. It had to be safe, robust and with a great user experience. We've been hacking around in my attic for about a year, building prototypes out of bells of wood and DIY electronics. And after many, many trials, Fly eventually stayed in the air and proved to us that it was uh, all possible. So based on this, we managed to convince uh, Pierre Loest, who is a famous Belgian uh, entrepreneur, but also a talented drone pilot. He became really enthusiastic about the project and decided to invest. When I saw for the first time Fly, I tout de suite compris que c'était pas un drone. C'est autre chose. C'est comme un dessin de Da Vinci ou de Spielberg qui prend réalité devant vous. Prenez Fly en main et vous comprendrez pourquoi j'ai décidé d'investir dans ce projet. What makes flying design so innovative? It's made of a single shielded propeller and four control vent for stability. It has the same size and weight of a soccer ball. It's packed with sensor, a powerful onboard computer, a HD camera, and a Wi-Fi connection. We want it fly to be smart and autonomous, so you don't have to be always piloting it. You can select a simple mission through the mobile app and just enjoy the live streaming. Fly is a lot of fun to play and interact with, but it's more than a toy. It's really a platform on which you invent the future of flying robots. We have two APIs and an SDK which enable developers to create applications for controlling Fly remotely or when on the onboard computer. It runs Linux and supports the popular computer vision library OpenCV. You can make Fly autonomously detect and react to what it sees, like tracking someone or something in a room. Fly is really amazing because it's in the air, but it doesn't seem mechanical. Uh, when I saw the fly, the first time flying, I was really impressed about the simplicity of the construction. It's, it's so, so amazing simple. And if it comes too close, you can just push it away and it, it, it moves again and you don't hurt your fingers or anything else. 